when it comes to the central banks among CFX measures, it's pretty much a story of holding here on out. Few decisions, by the way, on offer this week, but the Reserve Bank of Australia used to be in that camp, but after hotter than anticipated CPI figures last week, well, market pricing courtesy of Refinitiv showing that, even if not by a heavy majority, it's showing that there is it's tilting towards another hike when they announce their policy decision next week, Tuesday, November 7th. So where do traders stand going into it? Why is it that they're holding this sort of bias? Well, that's what we're going to be doing. Let me go ahead and take a look at sentiment. IG client, by the way, on Aaron showing that they're still extreme by bias. They have dropped from 84% to 79% following last week's uh, action, but so far still holding extreme by bias. What about COT speculators? An opposite extreme sell and rising from 78 to 80%. There wasn't an increase in shorts. In fact, uh, the number of shorts actually pulled back, but because of a larger decrease in longs and we're taking a percentage, it's taking that bias into further extreme sell territory. But what we want to do is we want to plot this onto the chart, give us an idea of how exactly they got to these levels. First off, you take a look at price and you see that, okay, but you know, starts off higher for looking at from August until now, and it is a bit lower, mostly range bound action with an average that's been, well, let's call it averaging lower. So I like to call, classify the technical overview usually as a bear average. Doesn't mean it's going to keep going lower, but that's where we want to take a snapshot and we want to take a look and see exactly where it stands. Uh, bear average, especially when you've got the, the, technical indicators for trending, such as ADX, not showing a propensity to trend. It's going to be difficult to do that in the current environment, but essentially a sort of bare average situation, but mostly consolidatory action, a bit blurred between the two of them. And we want to take a look at sentiment and plot this on here. And you can see that it's been a story throughout this period, starting with COT speculators. Your dotted line is taken from the left axis as percent long. So if you see it, for example, at 32%, that means that they're 32% long, which is a minority. That means they're 68% short. 50-50 uh, line, so whenever the dotted line is below, it means that they are majority sell. Whenever it's above, that means they're majority buy. Let's go ahead and start with COT speculators, green dotted line. You can see that for the most, for the most part, heavy, to, and then afterwards to extreme sell territory. So really not wanting to get close to moderate sell, nowhere near the middle, and nowhere near majority buy territory, obviously. What about when it comes to, to, to IG client sentiment? Usually, usually, especially when it comes to an FX pair, whenever you have action that's range bound like this, you're expecting the blue dotted line to be very close to the red line and shifting back and forth as they range trade this action. But what's happening is that they have been range trading it, but with a very, very uh, 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 narrower range up over here in this section over here, which is from heavy buy to extreme buy territory. So constantly going extreme buy, falling back out to heavy buy. Uh, this was the closest when prices recovered up to here, going to heavy buy, and then back to extreme buy again. So why is that the case? To do this, we are going to have to zoom out to the weekly time frame. So let's go ahead and pull up a weekly chart. Now, before I bring up plot sentiment onto it, you can see that prices were generally averaging back towards a range over here around 67-ish. And then afterwards we had this move lower and then afterwards we started oscillating within a lower zone. So keep that in mind when we go ahead and plot sentiment onto it. And we're gonna start again with COT speculators. Again, a story of throughout this period of time, this is from mid-December up until now, majority sell territory. However, not, necessarily, not always in heavy sell to extreme sell as they have been in this over here, but actually going towards at times towards more moderate majority sell territory before, but generally staying you know, I want to say moderate to, to heavy and then taking it as price dropped over here. This is where we saw them sort of go with the momentum and sort of position for further losses in the Australian dollar, which so far has worked in their favor. You know, last week we did see a, a, a week on week increase. But what about when it comes to IG clients? You can see that initially the moves were, I want to say, much closer and even crossing the red line at times. So trying to, to, to trade, you know, price goes up. Longs get enticed into closing out, shorts initiate, and then when it comes back down, the shorts close out and the longs initiate. And then you had this brief period of time where, but still, generally speaking, you're seeing some movement, uh, even if they didn't get to the red line, staying close. And then afterwards, you have this move right over here. Now, this move wasn't captured on the daily time frame because the daily time frame is from August from here onwards. So you would have to zoom out to the weekly to capture this event right over here. But you see where price starts to go down, and that's where you see they move all the way up to extreme buy territory. And then afterwards, trying to average the way out at these lower levels right over here. I'm going to go ahead and pull up uh, IG's trading platform. This is the Australian dollar. This is the daily time frame. I have included the DMI as well as ADX in the bottom there. You can see ADX not in trending territory, hence the difficulty of, of labeling this uh, uh, a, bear a bear trend, even if it is a stalling one. But I want to go ahead and zoom out, and I want to start moving back, work back over here where to get a better idea of what, what's been happening. And it's generally in a story. I've, I put the Bollinger Bands here. Generally been a story of Bollinger Bands if not holding at the very least generally respected, eventually price coming back down, you know, it did breach the, the bands would widen a bit, but then coming back, you know, went up to here, came back, came back, every time in the bands. And here is where we saw sort of where it went up, excuse me, went down, long uh, initiating, shorts getting enticed and closing out. And then you had this big move here where it didn't necessarily always walk the band, but definitely moved into a new zone. And then once again, 
Tread is trying to train, trade the, these bands once more. So uh, that's about it from our end. Um, good luck out there ahead of uh, the RBA decision uh, on Tuesday. And as always, happy takes. <laughs>